Hey, thanks for joining us back at the Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Matt Jones. Paul Wetzel has the night off. Well, today we were seeing mostly to partly sunny skies, just a few clouds off into the distance, and really we can see with our Sebring sky cam, a few clouds beginning to build in. Those were kind of the high level cirrus clouds, keeping temperatures from falling drastically like we've seen the last several nights. So tonight, going to be a little bit warmer than what we've seen. We've seen temperatures already hit the low 80s in most spots, but all of us, or most of us, already into the upper 70s. Now tonight, like we talked about only around 60 degrees. That's because of the clouds, but the good news is we are not expecting any rain. Now there's two batches of rain that I'm pointing out here. The first one just to our north up near Wisconsin, the Great Lakes region, Michigan. We are going to see that push out of the area and out towards the east, so that's going to miss us. The second batch to our south going to miss us as well. We're seeing a few showers into West Virginia, even Pennsylvania, and again, those are going to push across the Great Atlantic or the Mid-Atlantic and out of the area. As far as the Buckeye State, we're only seeing some clouds and you can kind of see them on clouds and radar here. We are going to see them build in overnight. That's going to keep temperatures really steady, but we're also expecting only clouds a week from now for the total solar eclipse. And you can really see the path of totality or the moon's going to go in front of the sun and block out that sunlight. So it's going to be 100% blocked anywhere from Oregon across the continental United States into South Carolina. But here in the valley, if you look, we're seeing just around 80% of that sunlight being blocked. Now that's a week from now, but what's going to happen and what is it going to look like? We've had a lot of questions. First off, it's starting into the afternoon. You need the sunlight for a solar eclipse. We're seeing just around 108 is when it's going to start to occur here in the valley. So as the sun begins to move across or excuse me behind the moon, we're going to see eventually right around 233 that moon block out 79%. So close to 80% of the sunlight. That's over 79% we call it eclipsed as that sun begins to move away. So it will end right around 4 o'clock. The whole eclipse will take about three hours, but make sure you have your special eye protection before you go out there and try to look at it. Do not use your regular conventional glasses. They will not do a good job with keeping your eyes safe, but we'll get to all of that here and we'll have more on that in the upcoming week. But for current conditions tomorrow morning and throughout the overnight hours, all we're expecting is some clouds, no rain here within the next 12 hours. Lows tonight only around 60 degrees, a light breeze and those partly cloudy conditions sticking around for tomorrow, turning into mostly sunny to partly sunny skies by the afternoon. So we will warm up back into the low to mid 80s. Now you're noticing a few blips of green. We're not expecting any rain though. I do think that future trackers picking up on some of those kind of thick cumulus clouds or those white puffy clouds, but I think it's going to be too dry for any of that rain to really hit the ground. So tomorrow we are tracking dry conditions. 84 degrees is going to be our high with partly to mostly sunny skies. But as far as the rain forecast, we are expecting a better chance for rain on Wednesday just for some drizzle just giving it a 20% chance and then heading into Thursday. We are going to see a 60% chance of showers and storms heading into Thursday and that chance for rain going to stick around for the end of our work week for Friday. But temperatures ramping back up midweek. We're looking at Wednesday high 84 degrees and that humidity is also going to increase. But as we head into next weekend, we're looking at highs only into the low 80s with partly sunny skies in for the eclipse next Monday looking at better weather.